Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on Gitroy Tips and this video I'm going to talk about how to fix slow motion issue on your Battlefield Open Beta or if you're having the slow mo problem on your PC then how we can fix this app. So let me directly get into step one by one. So the first one is all about you have to do a simple restart on your PC. So for many users when they're trying to do the game they end up in the issue the only one solution you can try is just do a restart for you just go with the start icon now if you may click on the power icon over here and do a restart after the restart is successfully done we can launch the game and you can check with the game still if you're having the trouble then we just need to launch the game from the game directory not from the steam so right now for me in my case i'm having the game on steam i don't have the game on ea sports app so if i'm having the game on e steam what i need to do is just go over here right click on the game go to the properties go to installer file or just click on the browse now that will take you to the game installation directory. Now from here you can see this is the battlefield 6. This is the .exe. From here I have to right click and go for run as administrator. Then I have to launch the game. Similarly also make sure you can also run EA and Digit Game Service Launcher as administrator as well. Launch the game from here not from this team. This did work it for many users so that is why I demonstrate you at the second step. We can try this then you have to check. Next step is all about if you're having the trouble, the next one, we need to enable the XMP in the system BIOS. So you have to enable the XMP. There is an option in the system BIOS. You have to enable it. And also don't forget to update the system BIOS as well. Both are very important. You can try it. Then you can close. If you're having any kind of streaming or de uh, device, I mean, software is running in the background, you need to close it. In my case, the OBS is running because I'm shooting this video. So if the OBS is running, not from this case, but randomly, if the OBS is running, if we go to the task manager, you can see what all applications are running right now in the background. So if you find the OBS or any other thing, like for example, you know, any other thing is running over here, like Loom or whatever it is running over here in the background, you have to completely remove it. Once you remove it, you have to close everything over here and go back to the game and you can launch the game and you can check that might work in some cases or you can try. If that is not the case, you can just try changing from Ethernet connection. You can try switching to a different connection. So right now I'm connected to a Wi-Fi called BSNL, but I'm having a lot of connections here. So from the Wi-Fi, I have to try to this particular connection or I can switch back between any other connection. Or if I'm having an Ethernet connection, I can directly switch back it and I have to check. Next one is all about if you're having the game on Steam, then try installing the game to EA AMP or try to play the game on EA AMP. Or if you're having the game on EA AMP and you can try launch the game on uh, Steam as well. To do so, just click on add a game and you can go for add an on Steam game. Now from here, you can add the battlefield or you can add the EA app to here. So in my case, I have already added the EA app. If you scroll down, you'll be able to find the EA app I have already added. Now from here you have to launch the EA app, then within the app I have to launch the Battlefield 6 and I have to check. Next one is all about we need to run the game on dedicated graphics card. So let me close everything over here, search for the graphics settings. Now click on the graphics settings. Now from here just wait for a bit of time, click on add a desktop app. Now I need to go to the game installation directory. So in my case I install the game on E, go to Steam library, Steam apps common. Now go to the Glacier events. Now from here I have to select the battlefield.exe and go for open and I need to add it. Once I add the game, I have to launch the game and I have to check that might work in some cases. Next one, we need to update the graphics card. So I'll be providing a link in the description to both Nvidia as well as to the AMD. The Nvidia users can go over here, find the Geoforce. They can find the Geoforce, Geoforce RTX series and everything can be fine. Now go to the find over here and you can go over here. Now just wait for a bit of time then what you need to do is once you're done with this one you have to scroll down and if you find the graphics card version you can download and install the latest version of graphics card now go over here download this and install and you have to check similarly if you're on the amd you can go over here go to the graphics now from here you have to select these and you have to go to 5000 series and download this and if you're on the Windows 11 with 64-bit edition, you can download this one. And if you're on the Windows 10 with 64-bit edition, we can download and install this one. The last and the least step is all about. I'm suggesting you can try a verify integrity of game file. So go over here at the game. Just select the Battlefield 6 Open Beta. Right click and navigate to the properties. Go to installer file and just click on the verify integrity of beta file. If any kind of files are corrupted, if any files are missing, these kind of issues can 
pop up. So make sure that you run this on and you have to make sure that all files are successfully validated. Then you can launch the game. So these are the steps when it comes to how to fix the slow motion issue or slow mo problem on your PC. And I hope this video is helpful. That's it. Bye bye.